Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the clothing factory, which is on the Mod Hub for all platforms. Um, this is linked down below in the description as well. This mod is so just an FYI for you guys. Um, so clothing isn't a new product of the game. This is the same clothing that we've gotten before, so nothing crazy new to the game. Um, that's not what we're looking at here, but we are going to look at and see if this is actually worth it and talk about how to actually use this specific production building. So um, I would definitely stick around to the end because you're going to want to know the information I have for you at the end. Trust me. So. Anyhow, here we are. To place this guy down, we're gonna go into our facility. And again, we're comparing it to the base game stuff, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, if we go to production facilities under factory, scroll down to the very end. We have the $90,000 clothing factory right here. You can spin it around and do whatever you'd like with it. Um, right up front here, if you go in here and hit R, it will open up the clothing factory for you, which we'll talk about that menu in a second. On the left-hand side here, this is where your pallets of clothing are gonna spawn. If we keep working our way around the back side of the building, nothing over here. And then back here, this is where your income, or your, excuse me, your income, your inputs are gonna go into. So for this, it only takes in wool and cotton and the output is clothing. Uh, so you're gonna put your wool and cotton back here. So your cotton bales will go back here and your wool pallets will go back here uh, to be able to go inside of the facility. Nothing on this side, and then we're back around to the front. So pretty straightforward in terms of how to use it. Let's go back in that production menu and talk about a few things. So first off, uh, right here, clothing factory is what we're under. We can ignore those, we'll talk about those later. Um, if we go down here, we can hit activate, which is going to have it to running, and then it's going to go immediately to materials missing because we're missing our products. This will say running if there are materials in there, and then it'll again say inactive if, if we don't have it turned on. Same with this guy here, and then it'll say uh, materials missing if we're out of materials. Um, so that's how we do that in terms of that goes. Now, if we talk about the center screen here, we know about the status now. Cycles per month, 2,880. That is how many times it's going to do this recipe down here per month. So if you have six day months turned on, it's going to do this recipe 2,880 times every six days. If you have one day months on, it's going to do this recipe 2,880 days, or excuse me, 2,880 times per day. Sorry about that. And then production cost per month. Again, that's how much it's going to cost you every month to run this production building. Down here, the recipe, how this works is it's going to intake four liters of wool and output one liter of clothes. So pretty straightforward in terms of that. We go down here to fabric cotton. It is less cycles per month, so 1,152 cycles per month. Same production cost. It's gonna input 10 liters of cotton and output three liters of clothing. Over here, we can see how much we have of wool and clothing in there. Um, you, I have this down here, which allows me to purchase and put in the materials myself if I wanted to. Um, that is a separate mod called buy production inputs if you wanted that, it's PC only though. Um, down here, the clothing, this is our output. It's currently set to storing. You can change the output mode down here. If I set it to storing, it is going to, as soon as it has a full pallet of clothing, which I believe is a thousand liters of clothing, it's going to spawn a pallet of clothing in that spawn area I showed you. If I have it set to selling, it's gonna automatically sell the clothing periodically. However, you are gonna take about a 30 to 40% uh, deficit in terms of the price. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, if I have it to distributing, it's gonna distribute the clothing to another factory that requires clothing as an input. However, I don't believe there are any, at least that, to my knowledge, that require uh, clothing. So we're gonna leave it on storing for now, which is fine. But that is in essence, how to use this building. But again, let's talk about, if it, is it actually worth using this building? And what I wanna talk about is, we already have clothing in game. So what are the differences between having a spinnery and a tailor shop, which is what's required now for clothing? If we go into the menu here. Typically, you have to put your wool and your cotton into a spinnery to get fabric, and then fabric goes, goes to your clothing facility here um, to make clothing. So is this actually worth doing this when we already have this set up base game? Now, the advantages to doing it this way is while well, we have it all, it's all in one. The clothing factory works as a spinnery and a tailor shop all in one, uh, which is really nice. The other advantage is not only do you not have to have the um, two building, oh gosh, sorry, I lost my mouse there for a second. Um, not only do you have to have the two buildings, you just have to have the one building, the cost is much less. So in order to get this set up over here, the spinnery itself is $60,000, and then the tailor shop, if I can find it in here, is 100,000, so we're looking at $160,000, versus this clothing factory over here is only 90,000 for the whole building. So that is another advantage there. But now I wanna talk about in terms of, is it actually worth doing it here? Do you make more clothing here with your inputs than over there? Is it the same? How does it work? Well, I'm gonna put a chart up on your screen. So taking a look at this chart here, uh, first off for all my pricing, I'm using the Steam price sheet, which is linked down below in the description. Um, that's how you can take a look at, um, well, what, what, how I'm getting my pricing, which is drawn from the XML of the game. Um, down below, you can see prices used. I have the price I used for wool, cotton, and clothing to get my calculations here. And then I'm also running all of these prices on economic difficulty normal. So if it's on hard, it's gonna be a little bit less. If it's on um, easy, it's gonna be a little bit more, but it all should be proportionate, so it shouldn't matter a whole lot. In general, the percentages will be about the same. So you don't have to worry too much about that. 
Now let's talk about my chart here. So the top part of the chart above the blue line is the actual clothing factory that we're looking at, the mod that we're looking at. And the bottom is the base game. That's why there's a bee wool and a bee cotton there. That's the base game wool and base game cotton uh, to make clothing. Now, obviously there's two factories that it has to go through in the base game to get it, but I've able, I boiled it all down to kind of as if you've run it through both of those factories already. Now the input, that's how much you would make if you sold the product separately. So if you sold your wool or cotton, instead of put it into this factory, that is what you would get if you got a decent price for it, which is again, listed down below. And then if you had your output there, your output is if, uh, or how much you're making when you sell the output. And that's per cycle there is what we're looking at. So for clothing, for wool, for the clothing factory, input is 4.32, output's 4.4 or 14.4. So you're making $10 and eight cents per cycle. Uh, the cotton, clothes with cotton, you're making $20.66 per cycle. However, for the top input, and the reason I put that $6.89 in the parentheses next to the cotton output is I wanted to note something. So the, the clothes for the wool, that production um, cycle there, that is making one liter of clothing per cycle, whereas the bottom one, the cotton, is making three liters of clothing. So the top one with wool, you're making $10 profit per liter of cotton versus, or per liter of clothing you manufacture, whereas if you use cotton instead of wool, you're only making $6.89 profit per liter of clothing you make. So wool, period, better better material to use. However, it might be more difficult for you to do because you have to worry about doing sheep and that sort of thing. So um, hands down, you're gonna make more money if you use wool in this production facility. Now, the same thing for the base game. The base game, as you can see, all the numbers are the same. There's a reason for that. Um, the modder made it so it's exactly the same. You're gonna get the same outcome. You're not gonna make any more or any less if you use their clothing factory. You just have the benefits of it all being an all-in-one facility. And down at the very bottom, I also noted this, you're, this clothing factory is gonna produce clothing um, a fair amount faster than the base game factories actually. So you're gonna make more clothing. Whereas if we look back in the game here, the base game factory tailor shop here is gonna make if you're writing a fabric to make 1,080 liters of clothing per month. But if we look back at my chart, which is now back up on your screen, um, if we look down at the bottom where it says profit per month, the clothes, clothes factory with wool is gonna make 2,880 liters of clothing per month. And if you put cotton in, it's gonna make 3,456 liters per month. So you have the potential to make a lot more clothing with this facility than you do the other one. And since the recipe is the same and it's an all-in-one facility, this seems like a no-brainer to use this facility here. Now, last thing to note, the profit per month, which is gonna be um, down there at the very bottom. If you use wool, again, you're making $29,000 per month. Even though you're making less clothing, you're still making more per month because of the profit margins. And then if you're doing it with cotton, you're gonna make $23,800 per month, even though you're making more clothing just because of the profit margins there. But regardless of that, I hope this video has helped some of you guys out. I definitely recommend the Clothing Factory. I think it's a fantastic mod and I'm excited to use it in some series of mine in the future. So there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.